Hello, Bumpy Squiggums here, and we are going to continue my Let's Play of Ease Chronicles, Ease 2, and this should be Episode 5. So, without any further ado, we will continue on what we were doing. However, I have absolutely no idea what that is, because it's been a while since I played. So, we have to get re-familiarized with what we're doing with this game. I believe we did something where we ran across a bridge or something, and there was ice. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out. We always do. Meow, meow. Come on, cat. Meow at me. Alright, don't meow. Hello. I heard Lilia was really sick. But she's doing better now, right? Oh my goodness, did you guys hear that? The cat screamed at me. After I stopped molesting it. So there you go, guys. Don't molest cats. It makes you deaf. Alright, so... Let us see... We have no apples. We should probably get some of those. That seems like a wise course of action. And I am all about wise courses of action. Also three course meals. Especially turkey. This turkey is great. If you don't like turkey, well, sir, I don't understand what your problem is. Turkey is a delicious, delicious food. And if you're a fan of delicious flavors like I am, you like turkey. Also, sweet potato? Really? You already have a potato. It shouldn't be sweet. What's wrong with you people? Anyway, I digress. Back to E. So, we are going to go back into the Rastini mine here and accidentally talk to this guy. Come on. There we go. We're going to charge in here, smack this guy. I believe, if I am not mistaken, which apparently I am, I thought we actually had another upgrade, but maybe this was the upgrade that we got at the end. Um... Eh, whatever. We're good, we're good. Alright, we are going to push forward through the very long corridor all the way back into Iceland or Greenland. I don't I don't know. Is Iceland green and Greenland icy? I, I'm confused. It's like driving on a parkway and parking on a driveway. It, it's all very, very confusing. Wee! Look at that, that was fun, guys. You should try it sometime. Alright, so here we are back up in Ice Ridge of Noltia. See, I can read stuff in the top right corner of my screen. What? Yeah. Anyway, here we are back up at the Ice Ridge of Noltia, and we have absolutely no idea what we're doing. So, kind of right where we left off, if I'm not mistaken. We are going to explore this. I realize there's a cave somewhere to my east. I believe up that little set of ladders, stair type thingies over there. But we are not looking for that. Instead, we are looking for what is over here to our west. I do not know if there is actually. Ooh, ooh, ugh. Awful. I don't know if there's actually anything of any importance over here. But I imagine if there were. Well, it would be kind of important, right? Importance, important. Uh, never mind. Um, hmm. Well. Okay, so this is all starting to look vaguely familiar. I'm going to dodge most of the stuff, or at least attempt to. Oh no! Ooh. Got jukes! Alright, I wish we had a heal ring or something like that. Um. Well, as odd as it sounds, it doesn't look like we can go any further west, though I know there's more stuff to the west, so... I don't know what that's about, guys. Um, maybe we go south and we get further north? Uh, I'm not sure. But so far, the series has been relatively entertaining, at least to me. I don't know how you guys feel about it, necessarily, but to me, this has been a lot of fun. Well... There's a cave down there... I don't know how to get to that cave. It looks like it's isolated on... that area. Maybe we get to it from here. I don't know. I'm sure we'll see some other sort of horrible, horrible, terrible creatures. Nope. I was wrong. Hello. Aha! We are on the isolated thing. See? I told you there was an isolated thing. Alright, well that doesn't really help us. So, we will continue to look... Ah, here we are. Huh. Well, do we need, um, this? 
Nope. Nope. Eh, okay, well, hmm. Maybe we need this. Aha! I remember we picked that up, but I had no idea what it was used for, and now I know. Now I know. Ooh, look at that. I accidentally found a secret area. Spirit Cape. I mean, I totally intended to find that totally not hidden area. Eh? Eh? A feather cloak worn by spirit spirits of legend brings healing power to its wearer. Done. Heal me. Heal me? Heal me! It's healing me. Alright. Well, if it's anything like the healing ring, I should heal twice as fast outside. It doesn't look like I do. Well, whatever. I can tolerate with slow healing as opposed to no healing. Ooh, there's a chest. I want it. Ooh, and there's that weird gargoyle thing. Well, we're just gonna have to find a. Uh oh, there's several of these weird gargoyle things. We're just gonna have to find our way to get to that chest, aren't we? As we zigzag our way to nothing. Surprise! A lot of effort for absolutely no gain. Alright, so looking around, there's really not much to this place. So we'll go back into the place. Let's see where this takes us. And now we're by some weird armored frog armadillos. Frog. Oh, oh, that hurt. Frogadillos, maybe? Oh. No, 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 thank you, sir. I said good day, sir. No, you'll not have me. All right, so we get to stand here and look very angrily at the weird hopping armad armored armadillo. That's right, you know there's a joke there somewhere, guys. I am going to take the high road on it. I am not going to go that route. I'm going to stand above and beyond such reproach. And slowly but surely, our health climbs and climbs again, but at the same time... Oh, you know why? Because I'm an idiot. I mean, intended. Um, yeah, I shouldn't leave my light on, so to speak. It drains my mana battery. Ha ha ha! Light on mana battery. Now, see, there's a joke, guys. Come on. It was clean. It was funny. Yeah, all right, it wasn't funny. It was a pun. But it was a good pun. It, it was somewhat relatively unique and stuff. Well, oh, there's quite a few chests out here, and I want all of them, and I seem to, um, be coming up a little short. Mm. I don't like mazes, which is really sad to say, considering this is essentially a maze game, literally. This is a game of mazes, so to not like... Uh-oh, oh no. Oh. I thought I might have just got myself into a lot of trouble there. However, I only got myself into a little bit of trouble. Alright. Down he goes. Down he goes. Down he goes. Yeah. And down everybody goes. We are not taking prisoners. No prisoners. And down I go. Look at that. Booyah kacha. I got the hawk idol. No idea what it does. About to find out, guys. About to find out. It's not there. We are going to... Go over here. A hawk idol with piercing blue eyes focuses the power of fire on its target. Well, that just sounds... Oh, adds homing ability to fire magic. What? I like that. Also... Okay, HP and dungeons well. I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, I suppose I didn't have a choice to die. Wow, we are leveling up like fiends out here, guys. Oh, oh yeah. Well. I don't know if I'm backtracking anymore. I just kind of completely lost myself here, so... We end up back at the beginning, I do apologize. But, as I'm sure you remember from my Ease 1 playthrough, puzzles are not my forte. They are not my life's breath, blood, bleeding, I, I don't know. Something. I'm not good at them. And they make me weep often. 
Alright, so we're here, which means that if I dodge and go this way, that I am going to end up back at the beginning, aren't I? Oh, look, I almost made it to wherever that was. It's okay, we're still getting a, tr uh, a tremendous amount of uh, experience as we fight our way through all these guys. I want that. Okay, 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 okay. So I kind of have the layout. I am assuming that we're going to find something that makes us light and fluffy and we'll be able to float up here. But we shall see if that is actually true or not. We should also probably stand still for just a little bit so we can heal up and not be completely worthless. Because you know how much I do enjoy dying. I mean, I do it frequently, yes, but I gotta tell you, I don't necessarily enjoy dying ever. So, we'll save as well, because I don't feel like backtracking, even though I probably did miss quite a few things. We are going to... Oh, right, can't move. Awkward! So we're going to stand here and look very solemn. And eventually, eventually, we'll get through this. So I, I feel pretty good, confident that I'll be able to struggle, but eventually be able to beat Ease Chronicles Ease 2. So we'll be able to get the full Ease Chronicles out of the way. Now going into Ease 3, which was originally Wanderers from Ease, uh, I'm not so sure I'm going to be able to beat it. It's quite a bit different than this, and I, I actually prefer it as far as gameplay. But I also have a feeling that it's going to be significantly more difficult and challenging. So... That being said, knowing how how much of a struggle it is to beat this game for me, I don't know that I'm necessarily going to be good enough to beat the other. So just something to keep in mind, guys. I will give it my best go, of course. That's what I do. But if I am unable to beat it, you may all laugh at me and point fingers and make fun. But, you shouldn't do that, it's very mean. Alright, so I'm seeing a trend here that we just went in a big circle. Which is okay, I just want to make sure I have my bearings. I don't mind... Oh, totally intended to do that. See, look at that. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to do my best to beat it, but... You never know. And you can point and poke and do all the stuff I said, fun, whatever. But, if you do that, just remember... I will find you, and I will... No, um, it's not nice. It'll make me cry. Nobody really wants to hear me cry on camera, do they? I mean, my wife, sure, she'll beat me sometimes to make me cry. You know, it's, it's what she does. She is very violent. But that's why I'm here, hiding in video game land. Escape the brutal, brutal physical beatings that my wife gives me. No, that's not true. It is not true. My wife does not beat me, guys. I do not want to hear police knocking on my door saying... I'm sorry, your your wife was reported of uh, spousal abuse. Uh, what, huh? Yes, no, it's not true, guys. She doesn't beat me. At least, at least not often enough to call the police. So don't call them. Do not call them. Oh, this doesn't look pleasant. Hmm. Or does it? Look at that. I'm thinking on my feet, guys. Look at this. We're just gonna burn our way through this thing. Alright, so... That really didn't do much for us, did it? Hmm. Well, I guess we go this way. Further! Onward! To infinity! And over here! Yes, I made a very, very, very bad Toy Story almost joke. I wasn't quite there. It was an almost joke. Almost jokes don't count. We agree that almost jokes don't count. Please. Alright, fair enough. Well, here I am. And there's yet another. Oh, there's some sort of weird evil goat creature now. Well, that can't be fun. Oh, ooh, found one of those chests. I found altar magic. What does that do? Because remember, magic is new to Ease 2. So, anytime there's magic, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Magic of Gemma, Priest of Knowledge. Makes a doll a roo and lets him talk to demons. Well, look at me, aren't I sexy? I am a sexy roo. I don't understand, but hello. 
Snibbler Swath. It looked like they were going toward that door. Ooh, does that mean I can rue my way up? Nope. You sure? Come on, rue me up. Hmm. I picked a snowy mar mar marley flower. Hello. Why can't I get through that door? Probably because you're a goat. You don't have thumbs. Needed to open the door. All of the treasure chests around here have been looted. Have you been looking for the thief? You should be. Hello. The chests are empty. This must have been the work of some thief. I saw some human being being taken away by a flying demon. Probably a woman. Sure sounded like one when she screamed at least. Wah. It was probably me. I, w I was dreaming. I got stolen by a demon. You know how these things happen. Well, we are a little rue, and that's kind of creepy. Hello. Many friends of mine been killed lately. You be careful too, you hear? Yes, sir. I'm going to steal the stone shoes. What does that let me do? I had to venture a guess. I would say it lets me walk up things. Well, isn't that just convenient? Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. You've said this. Move! Out of my way or I'm going to kill you as well. I, I mean that in a totally non-threatening way. How did we get in here? Aha! Well, that poses the question. Are there other hidden places like that? Well, if memory serves, there's only one chest that we did not attain, and even that, eh, maybe, maybe, oh. Mm. Well, I believe what we're going to do at this point, guys, is I may commit mass genocide on uh, these people. When a doll touched the door, his hand slipped inside it, and his fingers were numb as, numbed as if by an intense cold. Well, I don't think I want to go through that door. It sounds unpleasant. She was a bit far off in the distance, but she seemed pretty from what I could tell. I saw a girl carried away by a demon, I think is what that started with, guys. I apologize. I thought we had already uh, dealt with that. Oh, are we going to do this again? Alright, so what I believe I'm going to do now that I have these magical boots of love and just awesomeness is... Go through the menus wrong about five or six times, and then use my return magic to return back to Lance Village, and then we will see 2000 is not enough to really get anything, unfortunately. Um, well, I suppose we'll go rest at the house, and get our magic refilled and all that good stuff, and then we'll go back and we'll have a fresh attack on the icy slopes and see if, um, oops. What? Lily is gone. I don't know where she went. We gotta go look for her, okay? Oh, no! Lilia was the one that was flown away by a demon. Well, that can't be good. Alright, well, surprise! Adol, have you seen my daughter? I'm saddened to say she's disappeared. I wonder where she could have gone. I hope she's alright. Well, I'm gonna take a rest, and now I'm pretty sure she was taken by a demon. What is with that girl? Always, just constantly thorn in our sides. I mean, I, I mean, I know we're a hero and we need somebody to save and rescue to make ourselves look good, but, you know, there's a limit to all good things, guys. It's like, I don't know how Link puts up with, uh, Zelda. He, he's, he is a glutton for punishment. Man's got more patience than, than anyone I've ever known. I mean, my goodness. Zelda is just, like, constantly... Oh look, a magical mushroom! Oh, oh, oh gosh, somebody's eating my face! What am I gonna do? Yeah, you, you know, you, you think you think she'd have learned by now, but obviously that's not the case. All right, so we will make our way back to the snowy slopes of love, and in doing so, we will achieve a total victory. No, we won't. But we will get a little bit further in the game, and that is a very good thing. Oh, I'm excited to see the close of this game, even though we're only episode 5 in. I would still rather enjoy seeing how this all plays out. So, 
that's going to be my thing. I am going to strive for that. And hopefully it's not too, too difficult to actually achieve. Alright. Hello, Monsieur Demon. Alright. Acquired an anti-illusion mirror. Well, that sounds useful. I'm wondering, is there another one, or was that the only chest that we didn't get? I'd like to say that's it, but I actually don't know for sure. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Oh, we'll stand here and look awesome for a few seconds. That's all right. Right here in the cold, the wind's blowing, it's blowing that little cold, icy little path stuff off of us. See, that's kind of weird. We must be farting a lot because it's not up by our heads or, you know, it's not like our full body. It's only around our butt and our feet, so something's definitely going on. Maybe we, everybody's been fed beans before coming here. Maybe that was a prerequisite, and now it's just... This is probably the smelliest place on Earth, if that's the case. Or on E's? Hysteria? I, I don't know. Wherever we're at, this planet, this place right here, in this game, stinks. Alright, any second now we'll be back at full health. Also, we're going to save, as now the rules to slidey little trap things no longer apply to us. That makes things rather nice for us. Also, we are going to make sure that our recording is going through, and I'm not going to have to rip my hair out. What's left of it, anyway. Uh, before... Or at the end of this episode. So, sanity must stay intact. That is one of my goals, guys. Sanity must stay intact. Alright, so, it does appear that we have done all that we can do. So, I will double check and sort of, sort of double check. I, I'm not really going to double check. I'm going to pretend like I'm going to double check, but in reality I'm just going to single check everything. Make sure it all works and runs and everything's good. And we are going to make our way over here. Because we can do this thing. And see if there's any hidden paths, paths, things over here. You know, I'm not sure I ever went in that other cave now that I look at it. I don't think I did. I don't even know where it's at now. That's unfortunate. Let's see. Whoa, nope. Oh, actually, it might even be down there. Eh, who knows. Stop it. What's over here? This one. This is where we came out of? Okay, this is. Arrgh. I know what's going on, guys. I know where I'm at. I know what, what I'm doing. Alright, so we are going to hopefully skip a lot of this uh, mumbo-jumbo. Really wish I could heal while moving. Sitting stationary, not my idea of a fun thing. Oh no, this doesn't lead anywhere, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that's what happens. Don't mess with us. Oop. Ah. Come on. Did all that and then we get beat down on the easy guy, really? Alright, so we now have the Mirror of Illusion thing. Ah, Come on, guys. Stop beating us. We don't like to be beaten. And we get killed. Ugh. The Rustini Mine! So much easier in this place. Alright, so... Just confirming we did get this. Yeah, alright, so now all we have to do is, like, get out of here. In fact, I'll even farm up the little bit that we did farm. Just so we can... Get our level. And then push, push on toward the actual goal of finishing this. Alright, so... We come over here. 
up and around, over and down. We get back into the cave system. And... Cave system should be in the next up path. Uh. Ha! There we are. And... There we are. Alright, so... We go this way. Cross the little frozen bridge thingy there that we made, because we're awesome. Also... Very disappointing, if I recall correctly. Very unfortunate. Alright, so we go through here. Eventually we're going to need to burn some fire. Okay, good. I'll make sure I have my fire. Ooh, wait. What's up here? Hey! As the doll unfurled the scroll of guidance, words began to appear on the blank, faded parchment. Great warrior, you have done well in reaching the ice ridge of Noltia. You must find the true door which will allow you to get through Noltia's ice-covered outer wall. The one that you see is mere illusion, spawned by a magical barrier. If you can somehow reflect the truth, the real door shall appear before you. Please, warrior, do what you must to reach Solomon's shrine. As the doll read each word, it gradually faded away. Well, there you have it, guys. So, use the mirror thingy, find the real deal, club a baby seal, and then we're good. I don't know, maybe maybe the baby seal thing's a bit over the top, but you get the idea. You get the idea. If you don't, well, too bad. Too bad. I am not going to explain it to you. I don't think you deserve to be explained to did did to. I think it's just pure folly. Of course, this is all merely conjecture at this point. We shall see. We shall see. We are going the wrong way. Now we are not. Alright, we do have all the chests. And... Uh, we gotta burn through this stupid stuff. I kinda wish it wouldn't refreeze, you know? And burn, 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 burn. We need, like, Disco Inferno up in here. Just totally melt this place down. No, guys, I'm not so old that I was live during the Disco. I do apologize that I'm not that old. I am an old man, though. See, I realize I keep mentioning Dota, but like, like I told you guys before, Dota's kind of a big deal. So, in that being the case, or with that being the case, rather... It was brightly shimmering. When a doll touched the door's hand, blah blah blah, intense cold. Hmm. The doll held the mirror to the door. Even though he could see it with his own eyes, it cast no reflection. Suddenly, the mirror gave off a dazzling light. Oh, surprise! Is there anything in here? No. Alright, so here's the door. Alright. Before we continue and get attacked and murdered mercilessly by a boss, I will continue my thought with Dota here. Which I completely forgot now. I have absolutely no idea why I was bringing it up. So we'll continue later with that. For now, we are going to equip our fruit thing. And we will see what happens. Really? Nothing? I step into the room, nothing happens? Alright. Ah, there we are. That's... Oh my gosh! That's scary. Oh, oh, that's horrible. Oh, boy. Oh, I just got ping-ponged like a crazy person. Alright. Oh, no. Hmm. Well... Um... Give me a minute here, guys. Let me figure out what to do. 
we're going to use that. And we're going to see what happens here. Okay, well, just gotta get my timing down. As always, it's always a timing issue, isn't it, guys? Always a timing issue. Alright, let's do this. Bring it on. I am not really ready, but I'll pretend like I'm ready. Oh man, he landed on top of me. That was about as awful as you could possibly get. Alright, so this is gonna take a while, I bet. <sighs> Remember how I said I feel fairly confident I'll be able to beat this? And then we'll move into E's, uh, E's 3 and see how we struggle through that. Well, I'm not so confident anymore. The fight itself seems rather easy, but I'm just terrible at this game, so... He double jumped on my head. Oh, that was just terrible. Did you get? I I saw it. I know you guys saw it. You guys were like, "What happened, Bumpy? That's not right. That ain't fair." I know it. I knows it. <sighs> Look at that. It helps if you grunt, guys. Oh, double jump. Oh, that double jump of death. He wants my soul. What is that? Oh, he's dropping little ice blocks, too? Ah! Yeah! That's right, you hit me once, fool. Get out of here with that noise. What? Alright, guys. So, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna call it close to the episode right there. I think I have to go change my pants. That was a little bit scary. But hey, I did it. I managed to get through another boss. So this will end my episode 5 of my Let's Plays of... Let's Plays? Let's Play of Ease Chronicles Ease 2. I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, and... You